Thank you so much to Yonder for sponsoring today's video. Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava and welcome to the start of a daily reading vlog. <laughs> I just thought I would walk y'all through my day today. I thought it'd be really fun to talk about what I'm reading today and some errands that I have to run, as well as kind of like what I do typically on a Sunday. When it comes to reading, I am actually going to be reading a story called Submitting to the Orc King by Alexia Steele. This is a story you can read on the app Yonder, which is actually an app that I've had close to about a year now because uh, there are a few authors on this app that I really enjoy. But when Yonder reached out to me about this, I was thrilled. They told me that it was an orc romance and I was like, you don't really have to say anything else. <laughs> I'm already sold. I love orc romances, so I cannot wait to pick this up. I am I am a lover of all things monster romance and I, I I can't wait to dive into this. Yonder's an app where you can read a lot of different stories and there are a lot of romance reads on here as well. Some of my favorite authors are on this app and I am so excited to pick this new author up. I've never heard about her and I am always up for picking up a new monster romance author, of course, like give them all to me, please. When it comes to submitting to Orc King, the first nine chapters are free. I'm going to be reading and reviewing those for you today. I'm very excited to pick them up. And then the rest of the chapters, you can actually unlock one a day. Or if you're a really fast reader, you could actually purchase some coins on their app and unlock the chapters that way. And the chapters also get updated every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11.55 p.m. ET, which I really enjoy. I'm subscribed to a few newsletters and know of other authors that do this as well. And I think it really helps me pace out a book because sometimes I finish a book too fast and everything just goes right out of my head. <laughs> and so I really like how I can pace myself with a story like this. First of all, can we talk about this cover? Like I'm obsessed with it. It looks so fun. There are a bunch of fun tropes that are my like buzzwords in here. So we have forced marriage, captive bride, enemies to lovers, monster mating rituals. Like, <laughs> do y'all know me? I'm obsessed with those, <laughs> okay? Um, we have unique monster anatomy, hidden identities, and size difference. And apparently there's a very high heat level. So I think this is just gonna be so much fun to read. I think I'm gonna have a blast reading this. It has a lot of views and it has a very good star rating so far. Um, and there are also a few comments, but I'll read the summary for you. Um, it says, he's a fearsome, brutal orc and she's his reluctant human bride. For centuries, the peace in Felhaven has been kept by the humans sending brides to their neighboring orc kingdom. When Princess Henry's sickly sister, Louisa, is selected as a tribute, Henry sees an opportunity to save her sister and to get out of her own arranged marriage to an elderly duke and to take her place. Henry is sure she won't even see an orc. She'll escape the caravan and make her way to a life of freedom before any of those monsters can use her as breeding stock. But can she resist being claimed by the surprisingly alluring, shockingly muscular Orc King Rokar? Or will she find herself submitting to his rule and his desires? That sounds so good. I'm so excited to pick this up. I just downloaded chapter one. I'm going to be reading it in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be taking breaks throughout the day while I do various chores and things to prep for the week. I'm also going to be running some errands. I know I need to go to the grocery store and I'm possibly also going to be going to the phone store to see if I can get an upgrade on my phone. We'll see. I've had this phone for quite a long time. I haven't had a new phone since I was in high school. So like I am hoping that I can get a new one. Um, but I'm not going to guarantee it. I don't know. But um, anyway, while I'm prepping for the week and all that stuff, I'm going to be reading some chapters and updating you on my thoughts on this. I am really looking forward to this. I thought I'd give an update of submitting to the Orc King while cleaning up my vanity. I did my makeup last night to film some videos. I have a really hard time cleaning up after I go, as I go. I get in like cleaning moods where I'm like, I just want to clean when I'm in the cleaning mood. And that's not what it was yesterday. So. <laughs> so I thought I'd clean up some stuff while I talk about what I think of this story. So I am really enjoying it so far. I'm three chapters into this and it's so fast. Like it's a fast read for sure. Like I'll read a few pages and then the chapter will be over. And I'm like, that's the end of it. Like how many, how many pages did I read? <laughs> and I honestly also think it's going faster because I'm reading it on my iPad. And so the screen is bigger and there's more text on the screen. So I think there would be less words on the page if you read it on your phone, but it's still not a lot of pages per chapter. I love short chapters. Like I love them so much. It makes me feel so accomplished to a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, 
I like can just keep on reading. <laughs> I, that was so fast. Like I can just keep on going. So that's kind of like what I did. I read three of these chapters in one sitting. So the heroine of the story, Henria, she has a sickly sister and I don't know what is going on with her. Um, but anyway, she, her sister has been chosen to be a tribute to the orcs where essentially women are brought to the orc kingdom. I think like the human kingdom and the orc kingdom have this like agreement alliance where they will bring women um, in exchange for I think like protection or to make sure that the orcs don't overtake them. Um, like it's like their version of a truce. Their agreement is like we won't attack you if you send us women. So that's basically what happened. The heroine tries to run away at one point. She thinks she can, but she gets brought back to the group that she traveled with by an orc in the woods who comes across her. She's very intrigued by him. I mean, like, he sounds hot. I mean, like, I don't blame her. The point that I'm at right now, um, they just had the claiming ceremony. I love marriage custom rituals and monster romances. They're so fun to me. Like some of my favorite books in the monster romance genre have those. I love like orcs just taking women, not in real life, obviously, <laughs> and um, having their way with them. It can be super fun. And I'm interested to see like what else happens. I love how I have so many claw clips here and I have to, I try to keep half of them in my bathroom downstairs and all of them are up here. Okay, um, I'll put one here and I'll put the rest downstairs. Um, but so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm just having a fun time. It's a fun read. That's the main reason why I read monster romances, to just have fun. And I think this book is delivering on that. Okay, so my vanity is more or less cleaned up. I do have a stack of things that I need to bring downstairs to my bathroom because they belong there. Like my claw clip and my hair dryer needs to go downstairs because um, there's nowhere to put it with my vanity drawers. It's too big for my vanity drawers. I'm gonna continue reading this. The phone guy is gonna be showing up to fix my phone screen within the next like two hours. So I don't know when I'll show up, but I'm hoping I can get my phone screen fixed and then immediately go to the phone store and get it upgraded. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna get my hopes up if that could happen. But I'm definitely gonna have a fixed phone screen. Like my phone screen is so messed up right now. It's like clicking on things without me touching it and like doing stuff I don't want it to do, so. Does anyone else like absolutely hate talking on the phone? <laughs> Cause the person I'm having to meet up with to fix my phone screen, like I had to talk to them on the phone and I was like dying inside. <laughs> and I have to go actually meet them in person. And I'm dying inside. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I have to leave in like 45 minutes to go to the phone store and this guy who's gonna be fixing my phone screen is going to meet me there. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> I'm not, I'm a social anxious girly, okay? Social anxiety is no joke. And so like, I have to mentally prepare hardcore for doing this. <laughs> so I've been cleaning and tidying up. I still have to do a little bit more, probably a few more dishes. I don't have a dishwasher. And so I have to hand wash everything. Um, I only have one like drying mat. So I do it like in, groupings um because i did some baking yesterday i had some cake pops made gluten cake pops for the first time i've never had them it's really good um but anyway i need to put these dishes away and clean the next batch of dishes but i've just been cleaning and editing videos today um vlogmas is here i'm posting every single day so i'm just having having to put in the work. <laughs> um, but luckily I only have two more weeks of work left until break for me. So I'm really excited about that. I get to have a little bit of a break. I do want to give a reading update. I've read three more chapters and there's like a little bit of a mysterious aspect going on right now. I'm a little bit intrigued to figure out what's going on because a lot of the women that are in this orc camp now are like very compliant to everything, almost too compliant. And the heroine thinks like, are they being drugged possibly like what is going on and i'm thinking like the same lines as her i'm like they're so willing to be there <laughs> and are almost overly enthusiastic about something so i'm like is there like a mystery plot line in here as well i don't know i'm very much intrigued i want to know what's going on i want to read three more chapters before the end of the day um but i do have to get dressed and get ready to go um, because I cannot wear what i'm currently wearing right now i'm wearing a monster romance sweatshirt and i'm not going to the phone store wearing that <laughs> i'm not <laughs> And so we need to change um, and clean up some more. And I need to set out my outfit for tomorrow for work. So a lot of things I have to do, but hopefully cross my fingers that I can get a phone upgrade. Like I'm crossing my fingers. Hi everyone. 
I don't know if you can even tell a difference. This is my new phone. I haven't had a new phone since I was a senior in high school. I had to trade in my phone for um, a newer version. So I got a pink one. Like it's pink. You can't really tell, but it's pink. The, po the phone is pink. Ah, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I will say I do need to get a case for it. Um, I am very nervous that it doesn't have a case yet, but that's just because all the phone cases at the store I went to were like over $50. And I'm like, I'm not paying for that. So my phone case, I got it off of Amazon is like coming in on Wednesday. Anyway, so I have a new phone. Isn't that fun? And with this new phone, I was able to read the first nine chapters of submitting to the Ort King or technically seven to nine because one to six, I read on my iPad and then I got my new phone and then I read the rest on there. This was so fun. Definitely something that I'm going to be continuing to read. I want to know what happens here. Honestly, this girl, she wants to, she wants to escape this orc kingdom and her now orc husband, but I'm just like, girl, why? Why would you, why would, why do you want to leave? Sounds like you got a pretty good, you got a good roof over your head. You get dresses covered in diamonds. You have a handsome orc man begging to be with you. Like what more could you want? What more could you ask for? So, um, I don't know why <laughs> she wants to leave, but I wouldn't. I'd stay. It sounds pretty amazing there. I think she got a sweet deal and I don't know why she is wanting to leave. So <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens with her. Um, and I'm definitely going to be um, reading the rest of this. If you would like to check out this story, I really recommend it. There is a link down below where you can download Yonder and you can find submitting it to the Orc King on there as well. It went by so fast. It was such a quick read for me and I can't wait to read the other parts of this story. I'm just a sucker for anything Orc romances. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I am currently, I just finished making dinner. I made some rice and I made some broccoli and I'm going to package my leftover rice for lunches throughout the week. So that's what I meant by prepping for the week. Um, I do have clothes currently in the laundry that I need to fold. And then I have groceries I need to put away because I tried to go to Walmart after the phone store to see if they had a phone case and uh, they didn't have any that were under like $50 that were like good for me, like that, that I wanted. So I just got a few groceries and stuff. So, and then tonight, and it was already 10, it's like 6.30. But I'm going to be making chocolate chip muffins for work tomorrow because everyone at work is bringing like their favorite breakfast dish. And so I'm making gluten-free chocolate chip muffins. So that's my plans for the rest of the night. I wanted to say thank you again to Yonder for sponsoring this video. And again, go check out the links down below if you want to check the app out. I really recommend it. This is really fun. And there are amazing fun reads on this app as well. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this daily vlog. Let me know down below if you're interested in this story. I would love to know. But if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a green heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, all.